Hi guys. About 12 years ago we made this mattress and really we can start to feel the springs sticking in us now so it's time time to do it again. So I'll give you a wee bit of an idea what we've got to do. The last time, last time we did this, we uh, we had a big room for to do it in. This time we're going to try and do it on the boat, which is going to be fun. So instead of getting one king size mattress, I got two 96 centimeter wide mattresses. They're also uh, one 90 long. Unfortunately, our four cabin where the mattresses are going. comes complete with a cat. There's only 187 from the front to the back and it's just under two meters from one side to the other. So we have to take two or three rows of springs out the front and springs out the sides and then sort all back up again and hope not to disturb. Push push too much but she really likes it here. Basically, the mattress is just like a big Meccano set. And it's just a case of uh, it's, it's complete just now. And you just keep removing parts until it fits. And then you have to re-sew the cover up. I mean, I, I actually bought this mattress specially because it's not too thick. You can, get, you can get other mattresses that have got a lot of padding, both top and bottom. But I didn't want that. I wanted something that was relatively narrow. But still moved when you when you move when you when you sleep on it so that it airs itself it would have been so much simpler just to buy a, a foam mattress or a memory foam mattress and cut it down the only problem is they don't breathe uh, they end up they end up damp all the time unless you have lats underneath and obviously since my water tank is underneath my bed there's no way that i can actually have air holes underneath so that's why I go with the springs and it then vents itself. I worked out that I need to take three rows out. I've took the joining springs off of these ones. I've now got to separate the front off so, so I can do the same on the front. can only have up to like 178 long in this four bed, four bed. and that mattress was I think 190 long so I took three rows of springs I've removed the three rows from springs from the top and it should be about Seventy-seven. That's close enough because the bed will spread a little bit as it goes on there. So that's the length taken care of. Of course, I've got to, to cut the ticken, as they call it. I've got to cut that back, and now I've got to put the angle that we need. So I have to work out how wide it should be, which I think will only be about maybe two or three springs on the top part, as it's only half coming down on an angle and that's all that we removed right now the width at the top width at the top of the bed is 36 centimeters 
So half of that's 18, so I've got to leave 18 centimetres in on the bottom. And the top is 2 metres, so that's 1 metre at the top. Well, this is just, just under a metre, so it's not a problem. So I have to V it from leaving 18 in. Which is two. So I leave two springs in and then the rest goes on a V up up to the end. So basically all you've got to do is keep removing the parts that shouldn't be there. <laughs> you can get a good old sweat on. Hang on now. Can you get something with a little bit more power here? Like like hydraulic. The only thing that I will tell you, this isn't for the faint-hearted doing this. Uh, this is all spring steel, and when you cut it, it kind of gets gets a little bit. Um, yeah, you end up you end up with a few chunks out of your hands because uh, it does get very very sharp. And perhaps I need a, a stronger pair of side cutters. Right, what we're basically doing is moving some of the springs a little bit further in so that it keeps the straight line of the edge and moving some of the springs a little bit further out. See, it's not easy but uh, you kind of you move one in, move another one out, another one in, remove one, move one in, oh, so far and uh, just rewire and I also put extra strengtheners on the side of this, this was the springs that came out up and down the way. I put them on the edge just to keep a bit more of the shape. It doesn't really matter because that's the side that goes against the wall. It's the middle that you really lay on. So it doesn't really make too much difference now. The only thing I have to do now is cut all the cloth, fold it around uh, and then cut the cover. Put the cover back on. Okay, guys, so we've got it all cut down to size. Uh, one of them, I've uh, got the other side to do. <laughs> it's already got the cat seal of approval. Is it getting a cat scan? Hmm? So that's one side cut down. I've just got, I've got a cover to put to make for it. Obviously the cover has now got to be adjusted to suit the same size. And I've got the other one to cut down and fit into the other side. But that's a job for tomorrow. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I have to buy some more plasters as well. I'm not actually sure what was harder, taking the springs out or altering the, the cover. But uh, I think it's, it's coming together. That's one down and one to go. And one to cover. The other one's cut. The, the springs are cut. It's just the cover we've got to cut down now. Ah, oh, God.